Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. My name is Nancy Foote. The next video in our Math and Minute series, Algebra 1, is about solving linear word problems. Now, I know word problems, none of us like them, but I'm going to show you a way to do word problems that are going to make it a little more tolerable. One of the keys is knowing that these are linear, so you're not going to have any square terms, you're not going to have any cube terms, everything's going to be just straight variables. So, let's go ahead and get started. Laura can grow 11 plants with every packet of seeds. So 11 plants per packet. How many seeds does she need to grow a total of 44 plants in her yard? So you have 11 plants times the number of packets equals 44 individual plants. So how many does she need? Simply solve for P. Divide both sides by 11 and you get P equals 4. She needs 4 packets. Folks, these problems are not more difficult than that. You have to read a little bit. You have to kind of get a picture in your head on what it's going to look like. And then go ahead and solve the problem. It says, next problem, Justin's birthday party cost $12 plus an additional $1 for each guest. $1 per guest. We're going to make G mean guests. If there are 25 guests, how much will the party cost? Okay, so we have 12 to start out with plus $1 times 25 guests. That's 12 plus 25, which means this whole party, pretty cheap party, is going to be $37. I'm not sure what they're going to do for $1 per person, but that's what his party is going to cost, a total of $37. Let's do a few more of these and again, they don't get any harder than that. The whole point of this is to make sure that you can take the concepts and the words and put them into numerical sentences. Amy takes three quizzes each week. So three quizzes times the number of weeks. How many weeks of school has Amy attended if she's taken a total of nine quizzes? So nine quizzes total, three each week. 3 times the number of weeks is going to be equal to 9. You know how to solve these. You've been doing it for a while. Divide both sides by 3. She has been in school 3 weeks. She's been in school 3 weeks. Let's do just a few more problems and then we'll move on. You should be getting this. You should have no problem at all with this. This one's a little more complicated but not a lot. At the grocery store, you know how the cashier um, takes your items and scans them? and then she, they have to take your payment and all that stuff. So that's what we're going to talk about. So a cashier needs 19 seconds to process a payment and 5 seconds for each item being scanned. So 19 seconds plus 5 seconds times the number of items, right? Because if there's 10 items, that's going to be 50 seconds. If there's 20 items, it's going to be 100 seconds. Does that make sense? I think so. So the question says, how long does it take to ring up a customer with 45 items? So this I right here becomes 45. So 19, that's how much it's going to tell, how long it's going to take to process the payment, plus 5 times 45. Now I know you remember order of operations. You're going to multiply the 5 times 45 first, then add 19, and when you get done, you'll find out it's 244 seconds because this 19 isn't going to change whether they have 10 items or whether they have a thousand items. What does change is the number of seconds per scan. Last problem that we're going to do today with an annual membership, an annual membership costs seven dollars and seventy-five cents. Write that down. A visit to the museum is $9.99. And I'm sure that it's more than that without the membership, but with the membership it's only $9.99. So it says, if you're going to go to the museum twice, how much money are you going to spend? Well, you're going to spend $7.75 for the membership, plus $9.99, times the number of times that you go in, the number of visits. In this case, it's going to be two. So you have $7.75 plus $9.99 times two. Again, order of operations says you're going to take your 999 times 2 and then add 775 to it. And your answer should be $27.73. Amy's 
if you have any questions on linear word problems or anything else math related in that, in, for that matter, please send me an email or leave me a comment at the end of this video and I'll get back to you. Thanks and have a good day.